archive. Now, this is crude, but I'm going to explain as best I can. Um, you can see all that? Yeah, you can see that shit? So this, okay, this is supposed to represent, uh, our plane of existence, this purple plane, this is purple and these are brown. In case you have a hard time seeing that from where you are. I'm getting real distracted by the video, sorry. Um, but I know this concept pretty well. So, my theory about the vibration, like, okay, string theory constitutes that there's a vibration that's causing shape. So really it's causing everything, like this metal, and this and all this stuff, it's not actually metal. I mean, it becomes metal at some point when you step back from it far enough and see it. But really, it's a vibration that's resonating at a specific frequency in a specific uh, amount, tightness, really tens tensive way, like alpha prime. I got some math to do, um, to understand rather, and then maybe some math to do, some math to piece together. Um, but it's happening as metal because the vibration is saying this many protons come together. It's like knocking them together, kind of like if you've got water and you're kind of like lifting the water and pushing it over there and this water to push it over there. Like that's how the vibration is causing the molecules to form, the atoms to come together in, in what sequence they come together. And they kind of put a certain amount of things together and then it kind of like starts a snowball effect. It's very easy, like just a mild tense of force can cause shit. Like this, my hand moving, is a mild tense of force causing my arm to appear in a new place consistently. I'm not, you know, I'm not moving it really. I'm causing it to appear in a new place. That's how movement, all movement is more appearance in a new place. So when you throw a ball through the air, you're actually vibrating the air, vibrating reality in the place of the ball. And so a ball, which was already vibrating, that you pushed with your tensive force, cause it to manipulate through the air, move through the air. It's a little heavy-handed. Um, so I drew this. Now, as I see it, this bit is going out. Might be easier to explain it on stone because it's kind of a wash. Like on the mind, it's kind of like my mind's really not is subject to like knowing these things. Okay, this and this. These are things that you may witness. Maybe it's your house. Maybe it's the trees and your house. Like every, you look around, you see all this stuff, and that's what this is. This is. Okay, I, I kind of got to go backwards. This is like everything you perceive a pe coming out of this. This is like the ether or the Higgs field, I think. There's a vibrational field. Um, it's like just before molecules bind and atoms bind and things. It's like the unbinding area of reality. And it's like a flat plane of existence. I think it was a flat plane of vibration. It's, it's in every direction, everywhere, all through the universe. The universe is essentially a vibrating sphere, I guess. But it's, it's vibrating in an even tone. I mean, it's subject to vibration heavier in spots and spots, but it's always an even tone. And then, you know, it's different without, but it's always even, kind of. Like, if you step back far enough away from it, it would look like one solid vibrating object. It's vibrating at that frequency because it's all kind of connected. Like the ocean, if you get back far enough away from the ocean, it just looks like water. But if you get closer, you start to see ripples in it and things. And the ripples in the water are like these things that we perceive, like this camera and this uh, whiteboard and this wall. They come out of the nothingness almost, but it's actually coming out of a vibration. Like it's vibrating so fast that it, boom, it appears as reality. It appears as something. We see it as wood or air, 
however, it's just like it, it's vibrating so fast that it causes something. I guess I can just explain it without looking at the camera. Maybe that'll help better. Alright, man. From the top. I got people here and I feel like I need my own space. I need my own study room atmosphere, like a house or a uh, studio space or something. That'd be cool. Maybe I'll rent one of those. It's just it's like renting two places is so extreme. But I need my own space, so I'm going to do that. Um, let's start with this. I made it three-dimensional. Just for the sake of understanding reality, I know that sounds really extreme or really generic, but this vibrational plane of existence, this Higgs field or this field of vibrational tendency, has space. It's not flat, it's moving, so I gave it space to move. It's like the ocean, really. This is like the top layer of the ocean, like the skin of the ocean, that very top layer. Like if you look in a fish tank at the very top of the water, it like congeals almost like our skin, or like if you heat something in the oven very lightly, the out, the very out, like a pudding, it like the out, outside is like a skin. And that's, you know, like this one, this goes infinitely deep. It's just like essence. Um, and what we see as, as reality, all the things we see, is the skin of the vibration of what's happening. So we see the outward shape of it. It's like the resultant frequent pitch, or frequency pitch, b because it's going so fast, so it like explodes past the threshold of nothingness into moving something. God. I hope these, I mean, I feel like my words are like an art project, and a lot of people are like, dude, I don't know what the fuck that means, but just bear with me, I know what I'm talking about, I can, I visualize this a lot, oh, for the last week or so I've been visualizing this. So what's happening is, with our willpower, we're causing things to appear in place. Like my hand, I'm causing my hand to appear right here, just by willpower, I'm causing it to vibrate right here and shape there. My whole body, I'm shaping it right here, I'm causing it to. And I can cause it to shape here, and here, and here. And I'm causing it to shape there, just like in this instance, it is being caused to shape here, in this shape, whatever it may be, this amorphous, amalgamous shape. Now, when this moves across reality, okay, so this is the, this is the plane of reality that we don't see, that we don't... I mean, we sense it. We just our five senses: sight, smell, taste, feel. Here, doesn't pick up on the vibration. The vibration is the sixth sense, or it's a it's like an ele electromagnetic causative frequency. These are what we perceive with our five other five senses. This is the more earthly stuff that we think of as like the basic human crap, like you know all that stuff. So when you want to move this stuff from here to here, it doesn't actually move like we think it's moving. It doesn't like travel along the surface of this. Really what it does is it goes back down into it and back up out of it incrementally across. So it's like it's like it's like oozing up out of it all the time. Like all this reality is like coming out of the ether, coming out of this vibration all the time. And it's, so, so like I, I need a computer, I don't need a computer, but if I had a computer graphic program I could show you because I can visualize and explain to someone that can program it in or I could, if I knew the language I could program it in and show you what's, what's happening. It's happening so fast that it seems like it's actually moving, but it's, it's really more appearing, reappearing. I guess you would call it, because it's appearing forward. It's not disappearing, it's reappearing in place constantly. So there's like this vibration that's causing it to shape like that. And it's a, this constant tense of shape. And that's what my body is, it's a constant tense of shape. It's this thing. It's always being formed. It's never like not forming it. It doesn't like form it and stop. It's always forming it by always vibrating in this specific pattern. 
And it's telling the ether, the vibrative ether is telling it to do it right here, just through knowledge of being, of, of where it is, or however you want to look at it. Now, when you want to move something, there's two ways to do it. You can literally vibrate something in a pattern so that it moves as we know it. Like if you want to throw a ball, you can literally vibrate this to exist in this pattern by choosing it. Your body will throw it, but you're sending a vibrational force, like a current. It's like if you're it's like if you're pushing your hand through the water. That feeling is like what you're doing emotively, consciously. Dude, there's like not enough words to describe it yet. Soon there will be. Like in 20 years or 50 years, the people will be 100 years maybe, or maybe there's enough words now. I'm trying to get there. I just hate using the same words over and over again. Sorry about that. Um, Or, okay, so you can do that. You can you can cause it to go, like, when I move something. I'm like, really? It's like singing, you know? Put, throwing a ball through the air is like singing. Like, you're creating current. You're creating a pattern. And it's it, people perceive this new appearance as what we generically refer to as movement. But they actually see it appearing in place over and over and over again. It's like infinite time, so the mind's like, no, not infinite. This mind isn't built for infinite, so I see it actually moving from a place to a place. But it's, we're magic, you know, we are vibration, and we are causing everything else to vibrate the way we want it to. Now, this is what brings me to, this is the most important part, and the most interesting part that I see about the field of vibration, the energy field, or the, the causative field. We can get something from here to here without doing anything with our bodies, or without moving as we know it. Consciously, awareness, projection, and vibration of the way you are causes this to change. You, you are causing yourself, your things here, and in a moment here, in the form of another person, in the form of someone else's actions. Your consciousness affects the entire field. So when you choose this, and you want someone to bring you something, You can, you can, you can tense the field. I thought of it as like, like an inductive outside-in kind of thing, and like yank on it and cause the shape pattern. Or you can understand and reappear as the motion that you want. But you're not actually reappearing as the motion you want. But you are. It's just not your body, like your, your, my Ian Crossum body doesn't appear as the person bringing me the thing, but I'm appearing as the person bringing me the thing through vibe, vibational, vibational, baby, vibational, yeah, vibational tendency. Cause, I keep saying cause and vibration, I'm sorry that those fucking words do. I know, dude, it, it seems kind of weird, but like when you're calm and you're breathing, your desires are fulfilled. But not everything all at once, but what needs to happen for you. Because you are causing it to be that way. Um, I wish I knew what, if there's any questions, because I'm sure I've left out a few things to, uh, like gaps to, to fill. So I, I've been picturing a lot. What's, what's helped me a lot is video games and World of Warcraft, particularly. There's these slimes that come out of the ground, and like in a lot of video games throughout the years I played, like you'll be walking, and all of a sudden a slime will kind of come up out of the ground, and it'll be there in front of you, and you're like ah, and then it goes back down into the ground and comes out in another place, and it's like whoa. Obviously, that's what's happening with reality as we know it. it it's the ground is all slime, but it's not actually slime, but it's like the ground is all possible slime, and the slime can appear in any shape out of that ground at any time. And it's the same way with our physical reality, out of the ether, out of the vibration. So this is the best part, is like coming up out of it, these things that are coming up out of it are actually coming out of nothingness, or, or seeming nothingness. 
like my body is coming out of the vibration, outward, like literally out. I don't know. If, I don't know if it's literally outward as we know it, like a balloon, like going out. But I think so. We affect the entire universe. So this is my theory about the Higgs field and Stargate and all these things where we can travel through the vibration, but we don't actually move. We don't go in and then move over here and then come out. We go in and tell it to vibrate like this over here, and so it does. And so we, our vibration that we know, we feed it here, tell it to be here, and then we appear here because we, we told it to create us here. And so we can wormhole through the universe as creations, and we recreate ourselves every time we travel. I'm recreating myself right now. Every, every step of the way is a constant recreation of vibration. That's why we change. Our bodies change and things. Constant recreation. I'm sorry, too, if, I, if I'm coming on way too strong, but it's just me in a room talking to a camera, so, like, sociopath look out, dude. I, like, I try my best to stay normal and, and to be able to relate to you. So if, you know, but there's no one to be like... I love, I'm grateful for the opportunity to be able to record this stuff and use this. This is wonderful. Well, I don't want it to go, if it goes too long. Okay, so, yeah, I think I got most of the, most of the points of the Higgs field. Traveling through the Higgs field, dude, it's not far off, man. We're going to be able to wormhole through this universe real soon and travel from planet to planet and things. And You know, cars are cool, but... So it's transportive. I'm not going to say vibration again. I mean, I did say it, but I'm not going to say transportive vibration. Transportive uh, coalescence tendency. Oh, that's fucking words. Like we're under the surface and above the surface at the same time. Totally like the ocean. And if go if you buy a fish tank, go on go like to the side of the fish tank and go underneath and look up at the water and see that that color that that what it looks like from underneath. It looks like the stargate. It looks like this flowy inverse reality. Like and if you put your hands through it, like it's, if there's light shining on the water from above and you're looking up at the water from underneath and you put your hand in, it's the most magical looking thing. Probably not the most, but it was quite magical. So when I saw it, I was like, like, I remember seeing that in movies and stuff when they would like put their hand through the stuff. And I was like, well, that is exactly what's happening. We're putting our hand through the skin of reality and becoming vibration while maintaining our info, what we are, so we can just reform, you know? This is cool. <sighs> Sorry if it's over a lot of your heads. Probably you got at least bits and pieces of it, so you're welcome to rewatch the video. It's probably kind of lengthy, and uh, just put this one as one that you'll you'll never watch again if you don't want to. Please don't make fun of me for this, because this is a real stretch. This is a real difficult thing to do. Let's try and talk about this shit and verbalize it while sober. Still, like that's the fuck, dude. <sighs> Give me stone, and I can be like the magic. Like I feel this part, you know. But, like, I want to relate it to you, so I'm trying not to just feel it. I'm trying to explain it. Okay. See you, man. Uh,